Urquhart. Thank you, Mr President. Last Thursday, I attended the opening of the Duck River Meadows Dairy and Cheese Factory in Smithton, in the far northwest of Tasmania. Back in 2012, an announcement by the then Labor Regional Development Minister, Simon Crean, and the Tasmanian Premier, Lara Giddings, started the journey of future investments in the dairy industry in this region of Tasmania, paving the way for the opportunity for the new dairy and cheese factory. By funding the Trade College to the tune of $4.25 million and a further $1.5 million to extend power along Harkis Road, allowing beef farms to convert to dairy farms. Today on this site stands a new robotic dairy and cheese factory, a dream of Gennaro and Roslyn. Along the walls of the cheese factory's public viewing area, there are a number of information posters telling visitors the stories of dairy, cheese and butter making from around the Circular Head region from the 1840s to today and highlighting the vision of Milan Venelik, who in 1955 set up the lactose factory in Burnie, now the owner of the famous King Island brand cheese. One of these posters is introducing the cheesemakers at La, La Cantara, and I'd like to read their stories outlined in the poster. It says, the journey in Australia started in November 2009, when they arrived in Brisbane to study English as a second language. In 2020, uh, 2010, their lives took an unexpected turn due to the political situation back in Venezuela. A protection visa was granted in October 2011. Gennaro and Roslyn have both trained as veterinarians in their home country, and this facilitated the process of finding their first job in country Queensland as farmhands on a beef cattle property. Their passion for dairying started with their next position in northern New South Wales in 2012. After gaining dairying experience over the next few years, they then moved to the beautiful northwest of Tasmania in July 2016. After two years at Arthur, Arthur River Park, they settled in Edith Creek as share farmers. They put a great effort into farming and took pride for what they were able to achieve. In April 2020, they were awarded this prestigious 2020 Fonterra Dairy Fair, uh, Share Farmer of the Year. Over these years, they have been making some Venezuelan-style cheese at home, all considerably basic and without much technical knowledge. They had identified several incredible opportunities in the industry, and one was that they were in the prime dairying area of Tasmania. And what better way to celebrate this than turning that milk into beautiful local cheese? Gennaro enrolled in a formal course at the New Zealand Cheese School, where the Australian cheese maker Neil Wilman taught him the fundamentals of cheese making. Later in 2019, they founded La Cantera Cheeses. Its name translates to a stainless steel milk can in Spanish, and it essentially represents their origins and the traditional aspects of the dairy industry. That's what was written on the, on the uh, poster in the thing. We had a look at some displays of cheese. A couple of them were new ones that they were trying. They were rolled in coffee. There was a couple that they'd injected some whisky in, so I'm very keen to try that when it's ready. Um, but they certainly are bringing some entrepreneurial um, types of initiatives into the cheesemaking industry in the small corner of the northwest of Tassie. And I sincerely wish both Gennaro and Roslyn the very best in their exciting new venture. Thank you.